welcome back. This is Luna Keyblade, and we're on part three of Fantasy Star 4 for the Sega Genesis. And last time we discovered that Professor Holt, who Han had been searching for, was turned to stone inside of Birth Valley. And uh, at the, now we have to go find a medicine that Alice mentioned called Alshline, which should be able to return them to normal. So. Let's get out of this town and start looking for it. She mentioned that it was in a town way south of here, so we've got quite a distance to go right now. Which means we'll probably run into a lot more monsters. And since everybody in... in Mile was turned to stone, or whatever that town was called, was turned to stone, they, um, we couldn't rest at the inn, so... We're just gonna have to get by until we get somewhere that does have an inn. <laughs> At least Han and Chaz still have all their technique TP though, so that they can heal when needed. Okay, this looks like where we're supposed to be, so let's see if we can find what we came to look for. Ooh, that music again. So, did something bad happen here too? Well, let's go find out. Whoa! Okay, this definitely looks bad. Looks like the whole town got burned down or something. This isn't good. But who's this guy that's staying here all by himself? Well, let's find out. Rune? Hey, Alice. Long time no see. Alice, you know this guy? From a long time ago. Is Shorty here, your current companion? He's still a kid. Watch what you say! Stop it, you two! More importantly, Rune, what's going on? This is all the handiwork of Zeo. Zeo? I bet the person who turned the people of Zema to, into stone is also... Well, your brain seems to work a little bit. You... Cut it out! It seems that everywhere we go, it's always Zeo. Who is this Zeo? I'm not sure. With the town destroyed, how are we going to find Alshline? We're looking for Alshine? In that case, you'd better go to Tono. Tono? Let's see, from here it's kind of far. First, travel east to the village of Krupp. And from there, if you go north, you'll find a valley that leads to Tono. We don't have to pass by Krupp, do we? Why? Uh, let's just head straight towards Tono. Alice? I haven't decided yet. I'm going to invite myself to join your group. I've got some business there, too. Not so fast. We'd enjoy your company. Alice! Good, we're all set. And Shorty, try not to get in the way. Stop calling me Shorty! My name is... Chaz, that's what you said your name was, right? 
Puff, what a stupid name. Alice, I think he's going to be more trouble than he's worth. Ha, <laughs> I won't get in anyone's way. You already have. <laughs> uh, I'm a little uneasy about our destination. Well, this is an interesting twist. We seem to have who appears to be Alice's old boyfriend, <laughs> maybe. And um, she pretty much invited him along without asking the rest of us. And then there's also our next destination. Han doesn't seem too eager to go there. Wonder why. Well, nothing else to do here, so let's get going. So up to the east where this this might be the town of Krupp. Yep. This is the village of Krupp. Han! It's Han! You've come home? Oh, so this is Han's home? Why was didn't you want to come home then? It's good to see you home, Han. Saya will be overjoyed to see you. Go see her. Who's Saya? Oh, er, well... Oh, okay, I thought this house might be empty for a moment. The other day, there was a tremendous amount of smoke coming from the west. I wonder if there was a big fire somewhere. Oh, yeah, I definitely say there was, lady. I guess, uh, I guess ignorance is bliss, as they say. Okay, let's... This village's most successful citizen is Han, the armorer's only son. He's a professor at Motavia Academy. Aha. Uh -huh. We're really proud of him. Well, what? Well, if it isn't Han. Yeah, you just now noticed he was standing with us. Okay. Han! Considering that you are disinherited, you sure have some gall to step into this house. You don't help in the family business, you just study. What use is that? Pa, right now the whole planet is in serious danger. I want to help with the power of science. That's why I'm studying. Okay, sounds good. Han, it's good to see you home. Your pa goes on like that, but really, he's very proud of you. I know, Ma, but my feelings won't change. Mm, we can go in the back of the shop here. Han's pa talks like that, but it's thanks to Han sending us the scientific literature that he has completed that a rural place like this is able to sell such splendid weapons. Yeah, okay, you think you could be a little more grateful then. <laughs> and let's go in the front now and see what they have to offer. Welcome, this is the armor store. Okay, let's see. We have a... There's a carbon helm. For Chaz. A carbon crown for Alice. A circlet for Han and Rune, but I believe Rune already has one, so we'll just buy one for Han. And a carbon suit. Han already has one, so we'll just buy two for Alice and Chaz. And after that, we are completely broke. Um... I may decide. I may. I may decide to grind off camera to get some money, to get some more Masetta, and I did not mean to do that. Of course, I can also sell some equipment, which I'll probably do in a bit. Let's see. What is you? Do, 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 do. Carbon crown and carbon suit. So that's Alice. I'll equip that now. Here's carbon helm. And his carbon suit. And then for Han, we have a circlet, which 
Doesn't increase his defense by much, but every little bit helps, right? And now, as I said, I'll talk to her again and sell some of this stuff that we don't need anymore. But yeah, as I said, I may grind for some more money off camera because um, things, like in all RPGs, things do get more expensive and it can get hard to keep up with the shop's, equip the shop's prices over time. <laughs> so, we'll just see what I do with that. Okay, we're going to leave this place now. And I think I will. Oh, yeah, there is one other place we need to go first. Um, is it this building? Yes, this is it. Saya! Han, you've come home! I'm so happy! Saya, I've missed you. Let me introduce you to everyone. This is my <clears throat> fiance. Saya. Fiance? It's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Saya. Saya teaches children here in her home. Wow, I'm impressed. Oh no, it's about the only thing I'm capable of doing. Oh, that's kind of downgrading yourself. <laughs> that's kind of selling yourself short, isn't it? Alice and Chaz are hunters. They are assisting me in my task. It's a difficult job, isn't it? Thank you for thank you for taking care of Han. Now don't now don't you worry. Everything will be okay. But if anything were to happen to you, I Saya. Han Oh you too Yeah, really, in front of the kids even. Okay, anyway, yeah, she's talking about being a teacher is all she's capable of. I think being a teacher is actually a pretty good thing, and anyway. I mean, not a, not just anybody could probably deal with these ki this many kids all day, so yeah, give yourself more credit than that. <laughs> Let's see. Well, I think I'm done here. So let's rest at the end real quick. Oh, let's pay. Oh, what's this? Uh, what a pig this dog is! It never stops eating. Okay. Bow wow! Woof, 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 woof. Gee, what a fat little mutt! <laughs> oh, gee, I wonder what the point of this is. Like I said, let's go rest. Welcome, this is the inn. Sixty Masetta, would you care to stay? Man, the Masetta prop, the inn prices sure are going up quickly. Please have a relaxing stay. Thank you very much, please come again. Alrighty. Well, let's... Now that we're, we're done here, let's move on to... Our next destination, which is Tono. And here I will actually show you some of Rune's magic, because he's at a much higher level than the rest of the party, so he has a lot of spells to help us out. Wow. <laughs> and Chaz gained a level. I don't know why Han didn't this time. Maybe in the next fight he will. Try this one. Oh wow, that did a lot of damage to him. <laughs> okay, now Han level, game level. And now we go into this cave. The entrance is blocked. No sweat, this should be a cinch. 
Everybody stand back. Flaley! Wow! Shall we go? That art he just used. I've never seen it before. The technique's different, too. <laughs> I'm not surprised you've never seen it before. This is what they call magic. <laughs> magic? Okay. And I guess that's all we're gonna get on that for now. There seems to be a lot more to ruin than me the eye, doesn't there? <laughs> So yeah, having Rune with us makes for easy experience, and if you ever wanted to, you could um, wander around while you have him and probably use him to level grind for a bit. But for me, I think we'll just move on for now. <laughs> a waste of time. There's nothing in here. treasure. 300 Meseta. Nice. How much do we have now? Dang, we're already more than what we had before. <laughs> well, that's good. This must be our destination. Okay, we've arrived at Tono, and I think this is a good place to stop this time. We'll see what we can find out here next time, so until then, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Fantasy Star 4, and I will, and I hope you'll tune in next time, so until then, 
Um, take care, everyone, and see you next. See you next time. Bye.